Yep, and again, I don't remember if you have to fight your rival, so I'm gonna go heal and then go speak to him. Because you do have to talk to him. Because you've got that parcel from his mom. Do, 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 do. And thank you. Time to go talk to my hyperactive friend. Yo, Okwasan. Again, saving for paranoia's sake, not for cheating. Yay! Yo. Hey, well, how did you come to stay too? I went ahead and memorized everything that was up on the blackboard. I'm pretty sure the blackboard only talks about things like the status uh, ailments, which I already know, so I'm already a step ahead of you, Okosan. Trying to to avoid having the precious Pokemon hurt in battle, right? It brings you. Oh, you got something for me? Deliver the parcel. So, what is this? Score! It's a town map! I like how they call it a town map, but it's more like a region map. Anyway, why are there two in here? Probably because your mom likes me. I like it a lot, but I don't need two. Willow here, you take one. Woo, free town map. Well, free for the price of delivery. Hmm, well, according to the town map, I. Mac? Town map? I guess Orberg City is where I should be going next. There's a gym, so it'd be perfect for raising the Pokemon I just caught. On the road to paying the greatest trainer. See you. Smell you later, Okosan. Get it? Get it? Gen 1 jokes? Anyway, then there's this guy. Oh, oh, oh! You call yourself a Pokemon trainer, and yet you do not have a Poketech. That is Pokewatch. So I guess it's Pokitch for short. Oh my, you are a rare case indeed. You see, I invented and now manufacture poke -tches. Not only that, I am now conducting a poke com promotional campaign. I have to do is find three clowns, talk to them, answer their riddles, and get three coupons, one from each of them, and you'll get a free poke -tch. Campaign clown. Does a Pokemon grow by defeating others and gaining experience points? Uh, spoiler, all three of these answers can be answered just by spamming the A button, because they're all yes. Obtain coupon one. Alright, uh, you know what, while I'm up here, because this is the first time I've come up this far, I did go and look at a building that was right out front of the town, or right at the start of the town, but there was nothing in there, so. Anyway, I saw the Stardust I found for a few extra. Um, I don't want to go that way just yet, and I can't go that way. I'm going the door. I think there might be somebody who gives me something in here. Isn't my Pokech quite fetching? Blah blah blah. So I lost without one after all. What about you? Pokemon's quite adorable. Here. Yes, quick claw! I knew somebody in this town gave you something. Let's see, which one of you is the slowest? 10, 11, 13. Ooh, you're quick, uh, Eric. Hamburger, you're not too quick. Um, I don't really know, cause Jack is a level behind. But I think Hamburger is the slowest, so uh, let's give Quick Claw to Hamburger. Okay, I don't think anyone else in this building has anything for me, but buy some heal balls. Ball completely heals the Pokemon it captures on the spot. Well, that's cool and all, but it's fucking useless after that. Like a Pokemon can use attacks. Blah 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 blah. Freaking tutorial peoples. Okay, well, I got a quick claw. That's cool. Pretty sure no one on the streets has anything to say, except for these clowns. Can a Pokemon hold an item? Yes. I hold a single item, blah blah blah, berries, and coupon three. Thank you. Now to go find the other clown. 
who is right here, right outside the company that makes the Poké Watches. Campaign Clown, I forgot to read what question it was, but ding dong, I got the answer correct because I just spammed A. And I got a coupon too, so excuse me, getting in my way as I'm trying to walk. What's down here? Another potion, bringing my total up to six, I believe. Good, good. Now, yo. Yes, sir, an old run is a good thing. You think so too, am I right? Yes. Yes, good answer. We can be friends. Here you go. That's my old rod. Now, just as in any- No, I don't need tips on catching Pokemon. Just as in any of these games, fishing with the old rod is only going to net you Magikarp. And for that reason, I'm not going to get a Pokemon here on Route 218 just yet, because I don't want a Magikarp. I mean, don't get me wrong. I- frequently use a Gyarados when I play this game on my own, but I don't want to use one of them for uh, this particular challenge. So, um, alright. Let me count your coupons. One, two, three, bravo. I say bravo. In return for these coupons, I'll present you with this Pokemon Watch, or Pokech for short. And suddenly the bottom screen becomes useful. You can add apps to your Pokéd sheet to make it even more versatile. Touch the Pokéd screen and find the apps that are right for you. So uh, that says it's 3.33 p.m. Well, I just gave it away. Kind of. That says 3.33 o'clock. Uh, yeah, that's not p.m. That's a.m. Uh, that's how late I record these things. Anyway. There's the calculator, which this is extremely handy if you have a, a code that allows you to adjust a Pokemon you encounter, but I will not be using that. You also have a pedometer that you can reset, which I don't know why you would want to, but there you go. You also have this cute little thing that lets you see the Pokemon in your party, how uh, healthy they are, and if they are holding an item, which you could just, you know, look at here, so I don't know why you would need this, but hey, it's cute to see them all pixelated, and back to the clock. Um, there's one app later on that I generally use all the time, but since I don't have that yet, I'm just going to leave it on the clock. So now, I'm going to head up here, and we're at 204. Let me just, if I can spell right, or route correctly, 204. So, wait, how many Pokeballs do I have? I think I have two left. If I do, yeah. Okay. Uh, cutting ahead real quick while I go pick up three more Pokeballs. I lied, I'm getting eight more. And we're back! So let's see, what do I get on Route 204? Found a Paralyzed Heal, good to have. Oh yeah, uh, one other small difference is that I sped up the text to fast and changed the border thing to this nice green. So anyway... Cricketot! Uh, I'm so glad I didn't pick up a Magikarp. Um, fun story, I've tried nuzlocke this game once. I didn't get real far, mainly because I just kind of got bored and gave up. But I had a Cricketot, whose only attack is Bide until it evolves at level 10. A Magikarp, we all know how shitty those are. And I think... What's the other one I had? I want to say it was like an Abra, but I'm pretty sure there aren't Abra in this game. No, wait, there are. Yeah. Yeah, it was an Abra, I think. So half my team was fucking useless until they evolved. And, uh, believe it or not, I managed to get by pretty well. I think I got through like two whole, uh, gym badges with half a team of shit. 
so... Anyway... This is probably gonna hurt. Um... <laughs> Please catch it before it unleashes that on me, because I'm pretty sure that's going to hurt like hell. Cricketot. Hey, Hamburger, you're not the only male anymore. Level four. Why is this L capitalized? You don't get to be special. Let's see. Its legs are short. Whenever it stumbles, it stiffened in a clack with a xylophone-like sound. Give the nickname to the cock cr cricketot. Yes. So, what is this little cricketot's name gonna be from now on? Hmm. Well, at least it's not hot to a boyfriend, but uh, that's definitely a character from Rune Factory 1. Cricketot is now Xavier. 